You're the last man standing. Just Vegan just sausages. I want to see how long I can keep you going because you're burning the pancake. <laughs> Too lazy to pee or there is hanging F. Aggie days. Yeah. Why is that important? If people want to find some really interesting things, they need to come to Aggie Day. Absolutely. <laughs> Aggie Days is an educational awareness for agriculture and farm safety. Who's here today? Help me out with some of the exhibits, some oh, of the must-sees. Absolutely. University of Calgary is here today, and they've got a cow that you can actually, the calves are being born every few minutes. We've got Alberta beef. We've got Alberta chicken. We've got egg farmers of Alberta. We've got Nutrien uh, with their seed survivor. Just a really fun day for the kids and uh, just a wonderful opportunity for people to learn about uh, Canadian agriculture. Our Fordist people have the bucket truck. The kids, we you're going to go up in the bucket yeah, truck? Yeah, they, they said we need to go up in the bucket. We want to get brand branded. No, brand, branding irons. Absolutely. <laughs> we're going to go down and we'll... He's going to get branded. We're going to get him a brand. Sure. We'll go do that right now. Who's the pancake king here? Always starts with pancakes. It does. Why? Pancakes are the best. <laughs> yes. Pancakes, sausages. <clears throat> they're all, they're always see, good. I want to see how long I can keep you going because you're burning the pancakes. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> you, you, want a, you want a bite of this? You, you, this is good old prairie... Alberta Spring Pancakes. Woo! <laughs> Miss Rodeo Sundry. Yes, sir. What are you serving? What am I serving? Yeah, what are you serving here? Uh, I'm serving vegan, sausages. Vegan sausages? I, I'm assuming not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for Aggie Days to support um, the promotion of agriculture and what it embodies. It's important that, you know, small business farmers in Alberta are promoted and... <laughs> And they're all loud, I don't know. Food's flying, right. I'm you getting out of here. Right. Mm. You got the syrup. Right. I'm the final touch. Fortis as a as a business, you guys are reaching out a little bit more this year with uh, some of the some of the challenges we've got in our farming communities. Absolutely. Wherever we can help. I mean uh, affordability and electricity is a, is a big subject these days and uh, we're happy to come out to the communities and talk to everybody and help them understand things that they can do to to make their operations more efficient. Do, do you have a do you have a, a an inside track on any of these plug-in tractors that the farmers can get to? <laughs> <laughs> How old do you have to be to be in 4-H? Nine to twenty-one. So I qualify still? No? Yes, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but 4-H is a is a huge movement across Canada. There's a lot of things you're trying to achieve. If you have to bring it down to just the one most important thing you're trying to leave children with in the 4-H club, why should they get involved? I think we'd go by the mo motto, the head, heart, health, and hands. Head, heart, heart health, health, and hands, and the hands. four H's. And, and how does that work? Then? Head to clear thinking, heart to greater loyalty, hands to larger service, and health to better living. For our club, community, country, and the world. Love it. That's our motto. Love it. Yeah. That's, that's a good motto. Aggie Day, here in, yes. in, uh, in, in Cremona. What is it all about? Mostly teaching everybody here, including kids that have moved in, where their food comes from, what farmers do, what what rural living is like, and uh, what it entails with all the work, etc. It's also community living too, right? Com being part of a community, serving. I don't think about agriculture when I think University of Calgary. Is, is that wrong of me? Totally, totally. University of Calgary has a vet school, the only one in Alberta. If you think you can produce a steak without a vet, you are mistaken. So you want healthy animals, you want healthy food and safe food, you need us, the vets. So you're helping the future of Alberta's food producers know actually what they do to produce some of the world-class food that we do in this province. Yeah, and sadly, we have currently uh, a global shortage of veterinary expertise. And that actually, in some countries, and here as well, leads to trouble for our producers. Because if you want to export any, any animal product, you need a veterinary certificate. And if you don't have vets on the shop floor doing that, you are not going to get that certificate. The other part is also us vets are the guardian of animal health, right? In any shape, way, form, it comes to us. So if, if you want to keep these healthy, yeah, you need us. There's some city folk that's going to look at this and say, um, why do we brand? 
We brand so that we can identify our animals. We put tags in for identifiers. Those can be removed, fallen out, torn out. But a brand is the only way you can make sure your cattle are going to be yours. I want to know if, if you gentlemen can brand our steed. This is oh, the that's steed. Your steed. 300 this, horses. Three, no, yeah. not only 300? Stockman's Foundation brand. That's the one we're going to put on yes. here. So there's history with the Stockman Foundation. That's, that's why we're going to put it on our brand in, mm -hmm. in, in there. So when, when did it start here? So 1980, the Stockman's Memorial Foundation was founded by their own act of legislation through Alberta Agriculture. So we're here to honor the builders of the livestock industry in Alberta and to educate the public. That's a good way to still make laws. You don't get politicians to do it, you make it yourself. That's you right. say, we make a law, we're going to do this, this is how it works, this is how Burda Beef is going to be nominated. And I want to be sure that when people ask me, what is that brand, I can tell them. Absolutely. So the brand, I believe it is a running bar S hanging F. Right. We have another one here we could use if you want, called Too Lazy to Pee. <laughs> oh. Bring that one too. If the first one works, I love this one. Come on, I want to see the brand. Too yeah, lazy to we'll pee. Make it up for you. All right. He's gonna get two. You, which one do you want on your, on your, the too lazy to pee or the S hanging F? You started out with your two. Yeah. And then you got your too lazy two. Oh yes. It's laying down. And then your last one, when you're done branding, you got your too lazy to pee. <laughs> love this. Look at that. Too lazy to pee. All right, yeah, I think let's do that one and talk with some others. Aggie days, why is that important in the fabric of what we're trying to do here in Alberta? Well, I think it's really critical because agriculture has been so integral to uh, all businesses that we have and uh, you know, it employs so many people, uh, not just on the farms, but of course the production and, and the value added uh, aspects of, of these products. And, and I think that's really something that we should be so proud of is that we've been able to attract uh, so much investment and so many new ideas and, uh, and we're, we're taking agriculture to an absolutely new level. There's a producer mindset that we have in Alberta because it's always easy to say oh the government must do and the government this and the government that but I think the one thing that farmers are doing or producers know is it's a lot dependent on yourself there's lots is taking ownership and responsibility yeah. for what you're about is that is that the, the it, culture it, it is and it's it's interesting I guess that I'm a politician because I know that my dad always said whatever the government says you just do the opposite and you'll be okay uh, you know but uh, and in a lot of ways uh, you know we've, we've seen that uh, certainly in the last uh, last little while that there's a lot of pressure we also have to take a look at what what the public sometimes thinks is uh, the situation, you know, I mean, neonicotinoids is one of those things uh, which is a, a treatment for canola seeds. Well, if you're burying it, it doesn't cause any problems. However, uh, you know, the, the media really gets excited about, uh, you know, stories from Ontario and, and so on that where people say, oh, we should be banning this and so many other types of products as well. Your favorite part of an Aggie Day? I, I think the important part is just for people to come out and, and see the unique things there are. There's many booths here uh, where people are showing what they do and, uh, and people get a chance to talk about the things that are important to them. And the other part is to have young people here so that they get a chance to see what, what farming and, and the agriculture industry is all about. Everything's under pressure in the world at the moment. This, uh, the, with, with the last two years, a lot changed. and. Um, do you think it's necessary for folks to realize we're still here, we still have to do these events, we, we still have to get out, meet our food producers? Absolutely. The, the message that we want people to learn today is, is that who's putting that food on the table? Who it is? And that is our producer group, and that's our farmers, and we need to thank them. Let's get out from uh, off our couches after two years and uh, being locked down, and let's have some fun. I want to ask you a personal question. Sure. Why are you involved? In oh. Why are you putting this huge event on at this beautiful venue of you? Well, I'm an Alberta farm girl, born and raised. I grew up on an all-girl farm, so I have shoveled my fair share of, of uh, manure and, you know, collected eggs and, and, and fed pigs. And I think it's such a wonderful part of our history and our heritage, and that's what we're all about here, is, is learning about that. But, um, yeah, so, so I love to... And, 
promote 4-H Alberta. I'm a 4-H girl myself. I grew up uh, in the country, had my own 4-H calf, of course. And, um, you know, we want to put back. And you know me, I'm, I love to put back to my community. This is the kind of cool thing you can do. You can get yourself branded when you're on the road, when you're out there, when you go meet people, and you can see how awesome Western Canada is, how awesome our food producers are, and that's the kind of journey that the two cowboys are gonna keep on taking you. And please subscribe. We appreciate all the support that you give us, but most importantly, if you know of something going on in your area, give us a call, give us an email, text, Facebook, Twitter, tweet, do all the other stuff, and the cowboys will come and tell your story.